Welcome back. So I did this ahead of time so as to not waste your time drawing it. The so question says, a merchant sells three types of clocks that chime is indicated by the check marks in the table above. What is the total number of chimes of the inventory clock, of the inventory of clocks in the 90 minute period, and we're talking about 715, 715 to 845. So let's just make sure we understand this chart. So we have type clocks of type A, B, and C. This is the number of each of those clocks that the, the whatever the store has. Now these n times on the nth hour, that means when it turns 7 o'clock, it's going to chime 7 times. And when it turns 8 o'clock, it's going to uh, it's going to chime 8 times, et cetera, et cetera. This is once on the hour, so right at the hour does just once one chime. And then these do once on the half hour. So between 7.15 and 8.45. So let's let's take them. So let's see, we have clocks. Let's figure out how many times each of these clocks. So we have clock A times 10, right? And how many times is each of the clock A's going to chime between these this period? Well, it does n times on the nth hour, right? So between 7.15 and 8.45, there's only one hour that happens, which is 8 o'clock, right? And at 8 o'clock, it's going to choose, it's going to chime n times. It's going to chime 8 chimes at 8 o'clock, at 8. And then it also does one on the half hour. So what half hours are there? Well, there's 7.30 and there's 8.30 that pass up, right? So there are two half hours. It's going to chime at 7.30 and 8.30, each of these. So then plus 2, once at 7.30 and once at 8.30. And then times 10, because there's 10 clocks, right? Let's see. B times 5 clocks. N times on the nth hour. Well, once again, that's 8 chimes at 8. And it doesn't do anything else. So times 5. And then finally, C times 3 clocks. It doesn't do this whole nth times in the nth hour. It does once on the hour. So it's going to do it. It's going to do it once at 8 o'clock, once at 8, and then at once every half on the half hour. So plus 1 at 7:30, plus 1 at 8:30, right? So that's 3 times 3 clocks. So what's this? Is 8 plus 2? Right, eight chimes plus two chimes, so that's ten chimes per clock times ten is equal to a hundred chimes. Eight chimes per clock times five clocks is equal to forty chimes, and then three chimes per clock times three clocks is equal to nine. You add all this up together, and the whole store in this time period, if I haven't made a mistake, will chime a hundred and forty-nine, or there'll be a hundred forty-nine chimes of the inventory of clocks in this 90 minute period. Next question. OK. So they draw a bunch of random things. But what I, I'll just replace them with numbers, because that's easier for me to think. So our letters, A, B, C, D, and E, right? I mean, those pictures are useless. And they say, if the five cards shown above are placed in a row so that the the that shaded box, but I'll call that C. So that C is never at either end. How many different arrangements are possible? Well, this is how I think about it. Since C is kind of the most restricted, right? Let's say that we're kind of placing them in order. And we say, well, place number C. Let's say that these are the spots. One, well, they're in a row, right? One, two, three, four, five. And when we come along, we have C. We know that C can't be placed here, and it can't be placed here. So it can only be placed in one of these three spots. right? So there's three possible situations where C can be placed. Now let's say you place C right, in one of these three spots. Then now it's our turn to place A. How many spots are left to place A? Well, one of these three is going to be taken by C, but then A can be in any of the other four. right? So then there's four possibilities for A. And once you place A, then for B, well, two of the spots are going to be taken up. And B, so there's three spots left. So there's three possibilities for B. And then there's only two openings for D. And then there's only one for E. So if you multiply this out, you get 3 times 4 is 12. 
12 times 3 is 36. 36 times 2 is 72. So there are 72 possible arrangements where where the, the middle card, or that gray card, is never placed at either end. That's how I always think about these, because you know you just think about placing them, well, this first one can only go in three. Well, you get the idea. Hopefully you get the idea. I, well, that's, that's this section. So I will see you in, in the next section.